Welcome back to Channel Sport this morning, and it's time to continue our build up uh, to tomorrow's crucial World Cup qualifier between Nigeria and Zambia. Wow. And um, mm. yesterday, mm. Uh, they, they, they've actually started to uh, ramp things up in terms of preparations. Uh, yesterday, uh, closed the uh, door training session. Mm. Same thing is going to happen today. Uh, after all that, and the players uh, got opportunity to interact uh, with the media right. uh, as well, too. Mm. And uh, what's uh, come out uh, from that particular party, uh, you'd say, is a, um, inspiring and Very inspires inspiring. a lot of confidence. That's right. Uh, that Nigeria might just get the job done on Saturday. I know, <laughs> and even if you say that with so much care, there's nothing yeah, wrong because to, that's I mean. what um, the Super Eagles players said. They were very cautious, mm -hmm. and it's very important to apply caution for this sort of game. I mean, when you've come so close, and you don't get it to hurt you. I know. You know and they've understood, Tyo, this phase of Nigerian football has taught the Super Eagles one thing, that now their destiny is in it's their, in their hands. hands. You do, now you can't start saying, the NFL didn't do this, no. the ministry didn't do this. I mean, your destiny is in your hands. Whatever you want to do with it, that's it. Let's just pause on the Super Eagles for I'm a bit. These guys. These guys, mm. these guys are here Look to at spoil, this. Uh -huh. rain on our parade. Uh -huh. uh, we mustn't let that happen. The Zambians are arrival in New York. And mm. look at them looking you know, all... Yeah, they're not bothered. They look unfazed and they look like yeah, they're just waiting for a uh, kickoff. Oh, wow, they're not uh, smiling. Uh, yeah, they're yeah, it's game. I mean, they got a game face on already. Isn't the game face? Game bro. face around. <laughs> oh, game face. They're ready to play. I'm sure if they put them on the pitch. They're ready. Say right now, right now, right now, right now. Okay, Tyler, let's go to you okay. in a quiet room state. That's where yeah. they will be playing the match. Our correspondent Yemi Adebayo is standing by. We talked to him last night, but I'm sure the new things going down. Yemi, good morning. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me this morning. Fantastic. Yeah, me, uh, last night I spoke uh, to you. We're talking about uh, the mood and calm for the Super Eagles. Uh, let's concentrate some more on the Zambians again. I listened to Coach White saying, and he says, um, Sherman, whoever is not giving props to Zambia because we never yeah. thought that they would be here at this stage of the qualifiers. I think he's making some sense. Yeah, he's making some sense. The, the, the coach of Zambia has said that they're going to inflict maximum pain um, on, on the Super Eagles. I don't know where his confidence um, is coming from, uh, but we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens tomorrow, uh, whether or not they'll be able uh, to do that. So um, we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, but again, we should show some respect to the Zambians. Um, it, it's a really changed squad. Most of the guy, regular guys uh, that we know are not, um, are not there anymore. Just a few. Richard Winnie and Stovila Susu are the easily um, recognizable uh, faces uh, in uh, the Chipolopolo squad um, as, as we speak. Uh, you don't have the likes of Rainford Calaba, um, you don't have uh, Mayuka, you don't have Collins uh, in Bezuma. So, um, the Zambian coach, uh, for all that he has been said, I'm very sure Gennaro Raw uh, will not um, uh, just ignore. It's something to take serious. I told you that they have a very good away, away record. So uh, you don't just want to rule uh, these guys out. You told me not to talk about South Africa, but I think we've learned a valuable <laughs> lesson. South Africa. So uh, we should be wary yeah. of, the, of the Zambians. I know, and that was good caution uh, before this phase of the qualifier. South Africa just came in there to say, oh, Super Eagles, um, you guys need to sit up. Uh, yeah, I mean, before Tyler starts asking you question on, uh, questions on the Super Eagles, let's talk one more time on the Zambians. Uh, the Zambians, it's a young team, and... Um, we know the strength in the Super Eagles. I've just mentioned that not the regular faces we know. Some of them came out of the under-20s. They look good. They look good. You think they can worry the Super Eagles? Uh, well, I didn't get that clearly, but if you're asking me if they can beat the Super Eagles, it, it, it's quite possible. Uh, a lot of people have been happy. They said uh, the Zambians have a lot of injuries, but that also puts in the element of surprise you don't know what you're up against. And that is why I'm a bit wary. And let me quickly tell you this. Most of the people that I've spoken to here seem to feel that the job is already done. And I'm a bit scared when you listen to the fans, all of them just, uh, no, 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 they are formality. Um, I didn't know people in Uyo uh, are this confident about the Super Eagles. Uh, but the Zambians, we should take them um, seriously. Uh, they have a good goalkeeper in, in winning. I don't know if Tofila Susu is going to start. But all the other guys... We, we probably know little 
um, about them. And cast your mind back. Angola came here, got a two-all draw, and ensured that we didn't go to 2006 um, World Cup. So, so <laughs> even on the day when a lot of people are already putting champagne on ice, I would say let's be cautious, please. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with putting champagne That's on right. ice. Let's I mean, yeah, champagne. let it just be there. Right. And after the game, 90 <laughs> minutes, uh, we know whether to pop or not. <laughs> but let's talk about the Super Eagles now, uh, Yemi. Um, they've intensified preparations uh, for that game, and usually uh, that comes uh, with a uh, closed-door training session. Right. So, uh, obviously, it's going to be very difficult for you uh, to have an idea of what the starting lineup looks, but are you keeping your ears to the ground? What are you, I mean, what, what, what's flying about in Uyo in terms of the likely uh, selection uh, for Nigeria? The coach is keeping everything close to his chest. Yesterday, he had five five players with him uh, for that presser that you already have. And a journalist asked him, is that a guarantee that these five guys will start? <laughs> he said, no. Um, Alex Iwobi was asked, you know, how he feels, is he sure he's going to start? He says, whatever happens. So, I mean, there was the only person maybe that you could say is guaranteed to start is Captain John Mikel, because we'll always start with a captain. I assume so, unless, unless something else happens. But, you know, they're going to have a training session today. 15 minutes will be open to the media. Maybe that I could conjure something. Uh, we're struggling with that connection there. Uh, our correspondent at the Yemi Adibayo is right there in New York uh, covering what's going down with the Super Eagles uh, as regards that match. 